Hey, this is David Miracle from dmiracle.com. And, you know, of course, I'm a big WordPress fan. And every one of the, my clients who work with me and get websites, they end up on WordPress. Their websites end up on WordPress. And whether they're blogging or they're sort of blogging or they're using WordPress for article, um, or an article bank for their past newsletters, or whether they just have a website with no blogging or article features at all. They're using WordPress when they build a website with me. And so one of the questions I get asked gosh, almost everybody who contacts me asks me the question about how simple WordPress is to use. Um, many times people are calling me and they're concerned that they don't have technical skills or they're not comfortable with the internet or with their computer. And so they think that, you know, this WordPress thing must be really, really hard to use. <laughs> Fallacy, complete false. Um, the interesting thing is that WordPress is so popular because, well, one of the reasons it's so popular is because it's so easy to use. So it doesn't seem to matter how much I describe this to people. It, they don't really get it until they do it. So what I'm hoping is that by putting a short video together, I can walk you through, you know, just how easy this is. Because it's so, so easy. And I want to be clear that this is not meant to be a tutorial. This is not, I'm not going to go through this really quick and explain every little intricate detail. Um, I'm certainly not going to get into any of the extended features of WordPress. All I want to show you how to do is the thing that you're going to be doing the absolute most, which is adding, editing, deleting, and working with your content. So that's what the website is about. That's what the web's about for you. That's what any of the things you're doing with the web is about. It's about your content. So I want to show you here with WordPress how easy it is for you to edit and manage your own content. So let's just look here at a simple WordPress design. Um, this is based on the agency theme, the agency child theme from Studio Press. Uh, love the guys at StudioPress.com. Brian Gardner is a great guy. His team's excellent. Um, highly recommend the themes from those guys. So let's take a look at, you know, this is just looks like a website. This is, there's nothing fancy. I, I even don't even have the blog features in place really with this yet. Um, this is, just looks like a website. I'm just clicking around. Home, company, about, contact. So you see some pages have some styling, some pages don't. So let's take the company page that I've already injected this, this fake text, and let's go ahead and style this out. So when you first log into Word, when you first come to WordPress and log into the back end, what's called the admin area, you'll come to a login screen. When you enter your username and password and click login, you'll end up here, almost always at what's called the dashboard. And so a lot of people just say, you know, call WordPress is back in the dashboard. But really what you're ending up in is a dashboard. And I want you right now, just forget this, forget all this, just forget it all. Don't worry about what it all is. So we're going to focus first here on pages. Click pages, and what we have is, interestingly enough, a list of the same pages we have on our website. Look at that, home, forget blog for now, I took that off there, company, about, and contact. And look at this. Home, company, about, and contact. There they are, and even services is snuck in there as well. So these are these are actually a, this is a list of the pages that we have for our site. Now we talked about we wanted to edit our company page. So you see when I scroll over company, get a little edit, edit link, click edit, and voila, here we are. Title and content. See the same content. This Laura Mipsum stuff. Same content that's right here. So let's get in here. And all I'm doing, just, just so this is clear, is I'm just moving back and forth between windows, between tabs in my browser, it's just to really to make this quick. Because this could go on a long time and could get boring. I don't want it to get boring. I want you to get what you need to get from it and move on. So let's jump in. Um, when you highlight text, this works just like Microsoft Word. When you highlight text, you have the ability to edit this text with all these buttons. Forget what most of these buttons are. All these, you're not going to use very much. You're really going to use that one, that one, that one, that one, maybe that one, probably those a little bit, this a little bit and this little pull-down menu. The rest of this stuff, you're not going to use too much. So let's jump in here. So I'd like to make this a heading. So I want to make it a headline. And I'm just going to come down here. Don't worry about what heading 234, that's all stuff you do with your web designer as far as styling. But all you can see is that when I select heading 3, it makes the text larger. And just to illustrate that, if I select update, and by the way, update just means save. Here we go. And I come here and I refresh. Voila, our text is larger. So all, that's all I did. Th that's your first edit right there. That's it. So let's jump back up here and let's have some fun. I want to take this. I want to bold it. I'm just going to do a bunch of things here and show you how quick and easy this is. So I want to take this text and I want to bold it. So I'm going to find the bold button, which, by the way, looks just like the bold button in Microsoft Word. And I want to take this text and I want to italicize it. So I come here and I find the little I. Oh, that italics button looks just like the one in Word. 
Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to bold and italicize this whole big thing. Yikes. Hit bold, hit italics. And guess what? Bold text, italics text, italic text, and bold and italic text. I've made this. I update it. And you're seeing how quick and easy this is to make edits on your website. All I have to do is refresh in my browser, which just means I reload the page and I have bold, I have italic, and I have bold and italic combined. This is how easy it is to make edits in WordPress. I cannot even... God, this is so easy. Just please, if, if you're having, if you're struggling with the idea that you can't be technical or you can't have a website or you can't edit your own website or it's scary or you're afraid, please let yourself get past that notion because having a website that you can edit in something like WordPress will completely and utterly change your life. It'll change your business. I promise you. So let's go a little further and let's look at um, how to do a few more things. I want to create a, well, let's do this. I want to create a bulleted list because that's something you might do. So for now, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but I'm going to do it the easiest and quickest way. I'm just going to show you that it's easy. Oh, bulleted list, which is also called an unowner, un, uh, unordered list, uh, looks just like the button in Microsoft Word. Look at that. So there we made a bullet. Let's make a couple more. Boom. Boom. This works just like Word. Boom. Boom. And let's just get rid of that. There. Now, I'd like to also make a numeric list. Look at this. Looks just like the button in Microsoft Word. Boom. Boom. Let's go down a little bit. And boom. Look at that. We've got bullets and we got numeric. Pretty amazing. And again, if I update, which I'm not going to do right now, it would save it for me. I'm not going to do that because there's two more things I want to show you how to add really quick. Three more things I'll show you. Let's change the color of this text right here just because we want to. And there's a little color button. We select that. Look at that little colors drop in. Let's make this this interesting looking little purple. And just for effect, let's also make it bold. So I've just made change in the color of my text. Wow. Um, let's say that I want to come down here to the paragraph below, and I'd like to write justify this paragraph. Or maybe let's center it, because you'll probably center stuff more often. Look at that. A center button, just like in Microsoft Word. And this text gets centered. And Let's look at making a link, because links are pretty important on websites. Highlight this text, and look at the little chain link. Pops up right there, and we can make a link to whatever website, on our own website, off our website, doesn't matter. Select Insert, and I've just created a link. Let's select Update one more time, and look at all these changes we've made on our website. And again, I've done this in just you know seconds in some cases. And if I wasn't talking so much, I'd do it even faster. So here we go. Here's our purple text. Here's our link. You can see if I click this, we're going to end up at... Taking a second to look, but we'll end up at dmiracle.com. Uh, here's our bulleted list. Here's our numeric list. We still have our italic text and bold text and bold italic text. So we've made all of these changes, all these things we can do with our text, including that, that initial heading headline that we made. Let's add an image because, you know, sometimes you're going to want to add an image to your content. There's even a button for that. And all we do here is a little screen pops up and it says select a file from your computer, select a file. I come here and let's use, um, oh, I don't know, this tree. Let's use this. This is a pretty image. Select open and you watch. This is going to load. Sometimes it loads so fast this bar doesn't have to go all the way across. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. There, it's loaded. When this drops down, it means it's now put it in my website. And all I do here is decide whether I want the, the, the image to the right to the center or to the left of my text. I'm going to put it on the right, and then all I'm going to do is select this Insert into Post button. And there's my image. Update. Watch this. Look at how easy it is to add an image. The pause is on purpose. I just wanted you to take a second and realize what we've just done. We've just done all this editing work in seconds with WordPress. And yeah, of course, I do this every day. I teach this, so I understand it really well. But everything's in front of you. Highlight something, choose a button. It's as simple, it's as simple, maybe even more simple than Microsoft Word because there's way fewer options and they're all way in front of you. And some of these buttons do other things. We're not going to worry about or get into what they do right now. Um, because I want to show you just two more things in WordPress to just to just to expound on the simplicity of using it so much more. Let's add a new page to your website. So we're going to go under Pages, and we're going to select Add New. When we select Add New, we're going to get a blank page. Enter your title here. We're going to type in New Page. 
and then in the content area we're going to put content goes here then all we have to do is select publish come here and here we are our new page is in our navigation we click enter that's it that's it that's all you have to do this is the whole point of WordPress is that it's simple to add pages you by the way you want to take away that page we'll just go back to pages you don't like that page you decide it doesn't work anymore you can do a number of things to it but one thing you can do is just throw in the trash when you throw in the trash come back here refresh and voila that page is not found anymore so we click on home and you'll see it's no longer in our navigation where it was before and the page isn't anymore in our website so you can add pages delete pages and edit pages with such ease that I I implore you not to let the idea of technology of having your own website of having to know anything about code get in the way and please 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 stop getting websites that you can't edit your own content it's so easy you've just seen me do all of this stuff you go back to this company page that we were working on. Look at all this stuff we just did in a couple of minutes. So please, if you have a website that's not, that you can't edit yourself, get off of it. Get a website you can edit yourself. It will completely change the game. If you don't yet have a website, get a website on WordPress. In essence, just get a website on WordPress. And whether you use a blog or not, forget just forget blog for now. Just get a website on WordPress. Let yourself start to learn how to edit which is really simple you saw and you will gain complete control over what you can do with your website your website's content when you can put up your new pricing your new classes whatever it is just don't let the technology get in the way so if you have any questions or if we've talked already and I've shown you this video or if you just stumbled upon this video and you want to talk with me about website website design and getting help with your business and all that stuff you can give me a call my numbers below here in the YouTube page uh, or you can reach me at um, www.dmiracle.com. This is Dawood Miracle from dmiracle.com. And so if your website doesn't match what you need, get one that does. Get one that you can really use for your business. I'll talk to you soon.